My name is Nikki Salazar and I am at the end of the nursing degree program at Trinidad State Junior College in Alamosa, Colorado. There's definitely times in the nursing program when it was felt like it was impossible and I was not going to complete the course. I freaked out a lot and I would cry to my mom and cry to my friends and family and was wondering if this was right for me. And then going into clinical, that's when it felt like this is what I'm doing and this is why I'm doing this because everything made sense once you get into the clinical aspect of things until you're taking care of people and impacting their life. It's you won't even know what being a nurse is all about. So this woman had extremely severe rheumatoid arthritis and um, rheumatoid arthritis it affects your joints and everything is just so tender and so inflamed and you can't even move your body once it gets so severe. And so this woman, we went in to change her linens because she had urinated herself since she had no control of her bladder anymore and she couldn't get up and use the restroom. So a fellow student and I went in and we cleaned her up really well and after we cleaned her up, I took a cloth and washed her hands. And this woman looked at me with tears in her eyes and was really touched because she had never had her hands washed by a nurse. And that was one thing that she was not able to do for herself was just simply clean her hands. So that really touched me as a student because sometimes you really lose your way when you're so stressed and when you don't know why you're doing this and to have a patient look at you with that type of empathy and know that like telling you through their eyes that you are going to be a good nurse because you care about the holistic person, about their well-being, not just about her, her wet depend because she can get a pressure ulcer, but because I care about her, the things that she wants done as a person. So I think it's extremely important. Education is a huge staple in my family and in my mom's side of the family more so than my dad's. My mom's brothers and sisters, every single one of them is has an education which is I think is amazing because there's seven of them and back then that just really wasn't something that happened and my family is very excited. My grandpa always tells me how proud of, how proud of, sorry. <laughs> um, it, it makes me really proud that my grandpa and you know I think he's so proud because I'm the only one who's graduating from my family so far. My grandpa, well, I guess technically he was the first one to graduate college and he graduated with his diesel mechanic way back when. And so he loves to bring out his books and show me what his college books looked like. And so I think that's a, like we've always been very close. So I'm not bilingual at all, which really frustrates me. I wish I really was. And I, somewhere down the road, I'd like to, go back to school for just to learn Spanish or just immerse myself and go abroad, that'd be awesome. And do like maybe medical mission somewhere where I could learn Spanish. But um, my grandma, I recently had a conversation with her probably four years ago. Why, why didn't you teach me Spanish when I was younger? It's really frustrating. If you had just taught me then and I would have learned and grown up in this culture, I would have known now and I wouldn't have ever had to think twice about it. And she didn't want to teach me because I grew up in a predominantly white school and it was a bad thing if you knew Spanish. She didn't want me to be shamed. She wanted me to fit in and be liked in the school I went to. I don't think I've ever been stereotyped. Um, down here, the valley is very predominantly Spanish, I think. Um, well, which is really interesting because it's predominantly white nurses and predominantly Spanish patients. And so I think a lot of the Spanish patients relate to me well. I've never been criticized based on my race with a white patient because I think for the most part, I try to, I'm a pretty likable person. But I think when I, you can just tell when you walk in and you have the same heritage and background, you can see, and Hispanics I think especially, have a lot of emotion shown on their face. You can tell if they're happy when you walk in, you can see the look in their eyes that they're grateful you're taking care of them. I was helping one of my fellow nursing students go in and take care of a man and he was very stoic and he was strong and didn't want to show emotion. And um, the minute I walked in, he smiled and he was very nice and he was talking to me about my family and he actually ended up knowing my uncle actually. And so we related on that. And when we walked out, the student that I was with was like, he has never talked to me like that and I have taken care of him for so and so weeks and he would never allow her to change a dressing, that's what we were doing. We were changing a dressing and he had never allowed her until I stepped in and helped her. 
becoming an RN is a huge responsibility and you're taking care of people's lives and people really trust nurses. That's the nursing is the number one most trusted occupation, so I think a lot of people putting their trust in me is a very scary thing, but I'm very excited to learn from all the nurses who will be taking me under their wing.